Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Open the Mic Season 2 Premiere, World Premiere. <laughs> uh, we, after some internet issues, we are recording this. Not Don live. DeMarco. <laughs> Don, uh, DeMarco. Don DeMarco. Don DeMarco. <laughs> We Just ain't, like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. We ain't like pay Cox like internet, that. so uh, we can't go live. Uh, I'm one of the hosts. I'm Omar Finley. I'm Wes Ross. Uh, uh, white Hose Wes. Oh, I'm White Hose Wes. That's it. Sir. Sir. His, his name, is name is Wes Ross. No, his name is White Hose Wes. <laughs> I mean, okay. hey, And we got Paul. White Hose East over here. White Hose East. White <laughs> <laughs> White Hose South. Yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. White Hose South right no. there. No. Jeremiah can be a part of that. He's off camera. One can be a part of that. Nuh-uh. My name is Terrence. There's four Cardinals directions. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you're hey, still gonna claim be... one, or you're gonna be something. I am north. not any you're of those. Be, you're gonna be uh, one of the diagonals. My name is Mid City <laughs> T. Everyone knows that. My name is Mid City T. That's a diagonal to me. <laughs> I'm in the middle. I'm a medium. I'm Mid City White Hose. Okay, that don't, that's a City mouthful. Tea. Mouth. No, actually, pool. actually, for the record, we on the first episode. We can do this. He's on the west. You're on the east. That kid is on the south, and let George be on the north. What else? Sounds like that sounds like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Bet. And we're here. Hey, we should introduce our guest. Jeremiah South. <laughs> Who's in Westeros? What's going on? Yeah. Who's in Westeros? Oh, he's in Westeros. Yeah. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. What do you want to be? All the black people got their danglings cut off in there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there <laughs> That's absolutely true. true. That's absolutely true. I don't want to be a part of it. What do you want to be, bro? In Westeros? Where you want to be in, in this in this world? In the fantasies? God damn, in this world? In this world? Right <laughs> Not dealing with is y'all. Is that what we doing? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite curse word? <laughs> bitch ass nigga. Everyone knows that. Okay. You do say bitch ass nigga a lot. Bitch ass nigga is my favorite insult. He, he, it's, do, he do say that. It, it is it is insulting. It is demeaning. It is. And it, it takes a little bit of your heart. It do. <laughs> I would, hey, someone call me a bitch, I'd be like, whatever. Someone call me a nigga, eh. Bitch ass, ass nigga. You ready to raise up? It's like you're taking it too far. That's what's, too far. What's really good? Yeah, yeah. that's like the that's like the c if word for women. What's good and something else, but what's really good? Yeah. What's really good? <laughs> I know what that means. And uh, anyway, and our guest today is Howard Me, Hall. Man, Howard Hall. What's happening, bro? What's up? Howard Hall. I'm here. The legend, the man, the myth. I'm already drunk too, which is hey, amazing. I, I don't drink myself. You feel great. You came in. You came in. To be honest, he Say, came I woke in at up this morning feeling good, feeling great. Terrence came in on a ten, and he I was did. I was trying no, to. No, I, I actually I turned up, I came in on seven, and I saw you not having a great time, and I decided I was gonna make it on ten. Mm. See, that's that's the shit we don't like. That's care. Oh, yeah. And Terrence knocked over the drink. I didn't do it before. No, Wes hey, Wes no, Wes Ross knocking over my drink. Nah. That's fine. Hey, let's be. I I wish we could zoom in on that shit right now. You it's can't, still you it's can't, still wet. You can't and you won't. You can't and you won't. Still What's important is moist. I saw you not having a great time, and I decided that makes me very you're evil, happy. That's, you're an evil human being. That's what that is. I'll be that. I'm happy to be here. I'm very we're ha- I'm very happy to have you. We're happy to have you, bub. Hey, what's happening? We got a lot to so, talk so about. Opening up a second season with what's happening, bro? What's going on? We're doing bro? good, man. We're doing good. Uh, quarantine been dumb. Uh, been you know. been been giving a lot of a lot of my money to Uber. <laughs> Uber Eats. Most that DoorDash. Hey, that DoorDash was also out there. No, I, I do Uber Eats just to support local local town heroes. I feel you. I feel you. Me and <laughs> me and uh, me and uh, me and Izzo's were, were into that for yeah, a long close. time. Very close. Cause you can get a you can get like a you can get a burrito bowl, and then tacos and a burrito, and they're all different. And you can order them at the same time. See, I couldn't. Do How much it. food are you? Are you consuming during COVID, Terrence? I mean, I, every, I gotta eat more. I gotta eat meals, right? But, but like a burrito bowl is plenty. <laughs> yeah, for one meal. Oh, so you, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you yeah. buying it for like the rest of the day too? Yeah, I'm buying for like the rest of the. I'm not. I'm buying for like. I buy one for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know. Oh what I'm yeah. About? Oh yeah. You oh, so you're meal prepping. You're meal prepping, prepping, <laughs> prepping for Missy. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Come I mean, on. I mean, who wouldn't? It's the same. <laughs> yo, yo, y'all are y'all are inefficient. It's the same delivery fee. No, I have a meal prep girl. <laughs> it's the same I, delivery I, I, fee. It's a meal prep. It's I have a meal prep girl. It's the same delivery fee. fee, but not the same service fee. Okay. You can get the, you can get the money. You can get exactly what you want in there too. I got a meal. You prep can girl. literally order them. You can order your. So I would have my I'd have my fun one and my unfun one. This is. I have my my fun one would just have the grill, have the chicken in there, just a regular chicken 
maybe some corn, you know, some lettuce. Oh, you playing some around with pico, your milk? You see him playing around some with pico, your pico, some black beans. Can we get I have this? my other one. My Can other one. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get wild. I'm actually intrigued a little bit. Trying to get hey, wild. Red, I had the, red I had light the pulled ass. pork. I had the pull. I'd have the. I have the extra corn. Hey, look, 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 look! What we tell you? Shut he's the fuck a, up. He's a hater. He's a hater. That's serious. I'm saying. So the um, technically ain't a diet right now. You just you just no no no. I'm just saying you can make you can make your good ones and your bad ones, and they're all in, they all in there. You can order five meals from Izzo at the same time. I'm not about to do that. Though. I have a meal prep girl, and it's Fork and Spoon Br. Everyone check it out. It. Fork and Spoon. You're right. <laughs> did you just throw that out there? Word on the mic. Yeah, you did, and we live. Terrence on mine. My girl has not cooked in front of me in six months. Root. <laughs> in front of you. Yeah. Root. What does that mean? What do you think? I, I think, think she cooks at home. Wait, so she, that implies that you think she can cook and she just don't want to do it for yeah, you? It, it, Correct. It implies something. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Correct. So, do you believe she can cook? Because Have you she, asked Omar? No, I've never asked. I feel like you should ask. You, you're not putting you're not putting the onus on her. I don't need to. I think she needs a challenge. If you asked for it, she would do it. Well, we don't have that much time anyway, so we just like to eat out. Now, so. tell me this: Has she cooked for you, but just not cooked in front of you? No. Uh, then she needs to cook for you. I think she can cook for you. Have you, you cooked for her? her? Yes. Oh, she most definitely needs to cook for you. But it's been about six months. <laughs> have, have you no, asked her, though? No. I'm not a, I don't like asking people for stuff. You don't like asking stuff. people for shit? Uh-uh. Well, guess what? You ain't gonna get a lot of shit, Omar. You yeah. Start asking people for shit. <laughs> you a year deep in that relationship. You should do better. Hey, put the, put the red light on. You can get walked over. No, uh, no. Nah, uh, Jeremiah. Just so you know, I can get to you a lot closer than he can to get to you. I don't mm-hmm. know where you live. I've dropped you all before. Also, I don't want to let you know. Play I was going to wear a want. bandana on my head, but then some told me, I said, this nigga Howard going to come on with a bandana. So I put it on my cap. <laughs> 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 I was like, let me make. You knew I was coming with a bandana on. Howard, me. I feel like you and I, we like, we be thinking the same fashion wise. I'd be like, bro, I got I to gotta make sure if Howard's going to be there, I got to go all the way left and then still it's going to be the same shit. Yes. <laughs> That's how I like. I just get dressed. Like I just go. I'm like, I don't really put thought into like. Shows. Yo, can we talk about the Razzle Dazzle yeah. really quickly? We, we can talk about that. What made you tell the people during quarantine that you were letting people know about the Razzle Dazzle? What made you think you had to do that? I'm gonna tell you what it came from. Uh, I do it without recording it in front of my wife. Yes. Just to get on her nerves. And it popped her. And she was like. You just gonna have to record this one day. So I was like, bet, let me record this. Cause I, I figured like I was like, I did the research. When do we feel the best? And it's literally four minutes after you get your hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it four? Because you gotta get to your car. That's true. Cause as soon That's as you real. get to your car, real real That's shit, real. Cause you pay your money I mean immediately. You go after. the first thing you do, you're gonna close like you're gonna close your door. You like we not worried about how we look, but we are gonna start the car. But you gonna look yourself in the rearview mirror on the <laughs> side, and when you catch a glimpse of yourself, you gonna be like, "Oh shit, I look fucking good." That's the moment you know. I just want to expand that. moment. You want to capture that moment for all day for the razzle dazzle. That's what razzle dazzle is. Everybody has a razzle dazzle moment. The thing is, you don't talk. Is you feel that way? You just don't tell nobody. Well, I, hey, you feel you feel you roll the window gotta... down and blame it on your barber. Mm-hmm. How you feel about that? Hey, I I love it. it. Like I feel like it is his fault. I look this good. It's your fault, bro. It's your fault. I, blame like, him. Blame him. And like people think, like I I want y'all to understand. Every time I do these Razz Dazzle videos, these are not takes. This is the first. That's shot. the first one. I first turn one. around and I press record. No, I met you before. That's yeah, the first one. That's what it's gonna be. And if you think my wife knows when it's gonna happen, she never knows. <laughs> it happens organically. I think she's just used to it. Yeah. Sometimes I'd be like, "Yeah, baby." He said, "Man, it's a video. I need you to see. It's so dope." He said, "Yeah." And she'd be doing something. I'd be like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> and she'd be like, "Fuck." Ooh. I'd be like, yep, it's happening. Oh, are- why are we here right now? Yeah. I don't know if the people know this. Howard Hall has this thing where, when his children have a birthday, he lets them know it's their birthday. Your birthday crunk actively actively can you explain your birthday celebration to your children all right my birthday celebrations for for all my kids actually it's for the whole family they they've all incorporated it mm-hmm. but our family does it the best uh it's called a birthday crunk which mm-hmm. means you wait to the moment that person falls asleep it's either the day before their birthday on their birthday 
or the day after because sometimes they catch game now. So right now, I just tell them it can happen at any time. You wait until they're dead sleep. Connect your loudest Bluetooth speaker. And I put on racks on racks on racks. I don't know why it's that. I don't know why. <laughs> It always seems like it fits. It forgot the song. It, it always does seem like it fits, though. It does. It fits. And I think it's because it was the second song I ever used when I had birthday crunch mm-hmm. over 10 years ago. So I understand the amount of birthday crunch I've done with four kids. On the middle of sun, I think you'd use it. That's when it really got popping. Exactly. That's when it was popping. So I will bust up in your room midnight, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't care. And you, and you got school tomorrow. I don't care. Mm-hmm. And you're getting up. <laughs> The real and I will literally dance on top of you, crazy string is all the way up for like thirty seconds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, the whole, and then we bust out. Like everybody just bust out. Cut the lights can off. You like, give a, can you give him a little figure it out from now on? Can you give you a little bit to the mic? Like the it's your birthday to the mic? Oh yeah. Like first of all, like first like first dun, thing dun, I dun, do. Dun, well, first dun, thing I do is I bring dun, people in. I was like, Hey, everybody, I just wanna let you know that it's birthday crook time. And then all of a sudden, as soon as it come in, it go. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know why I know that part. And it go boom. Ah, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Ah. And then I say we gotta go to the club and then find a trap queen. Mm-hmm. And then I just make up like random stuff. I just to like say. how you get on top of your child's. Yeah, and shake them. Pause. On top of your child's, Pause. and like do the <laughs> clap and make sure they know. Yeah. And they be so over it. Un- over it. In fact. <laughs> And you don't care. Because this ain't for them. Because you already decided. I've already we decided. We're we doing this. Everybody knows. And I respect when that. When it gets close to their birthday, they'll be like, Dad, not this year. I'm I like, respect <laughs> that. Oh, oh, this year. I respect <laughs> that. Like, this year, I know my son is not going to see this. But this year, we're driving to San Antonio on birthday crunk of my son <laughs> at his house. It's going to be fantastic. You got to keep his house? <laughs> uh, his, uh, his girlfriend is going to give it to me. And we're just going to sneak in. Oh, that's going to be amazing. That's bro. beautiful. That's mm-hmm. the type of father I would be if I was going to be a father. My dad didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to be a deadbeat. <laughs> my my so dad's worst one be. on that level was he would pepper you a few. Mm. Ooh. Mm. God damn. He just, decided he, was, he just decided he was chasing you around the room. And the dude had great hops for some reason, as, as old as he was. He had great, like, two leg hops. So he just decided he was chasing you around the room. And you could be running. But he, he around He coming He coming He, gonna he coming he gonna He's hopping you. around Boing 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 You can't run away from the kid Cause you Cause you You small And he big See when you said Pepe Le Pew I thought he was gonna fart on you For your birthday I ain't gonna lie I, to you I was, I was You went there for a second too. Oh yeah, I, I mean up. I mean You know what happens gone. I mean When he got to you You know what happens He farted on you When he gets to you but Oh like, absolutely He got to get you first he ain't just like he ain't do it. He ain't fart for no reason. He wait. He waited for the fart, <laughs> fart for, for no the reason. find his child. How many times y'all get pink eye in your house? <laughs> <laughs> two times, my brother. Two times. But uh, he was great at chasing his children, and he, you know what? He would let you know ahead of time. It would be like it'd be like a what's the, what's the one where it's like duck duck goose. Mm-hmm. He would warn you before it's time to go. He'd be like, hey, time to run. <laughs> Time to coming. All right, bitch. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> run this run where you want. I'm coming to get you. This is ridiculous. This is my house. I, I built it. I helped it. I get it built. Like I can find you wherever you can be in here. <laughs> <laughs> you won't close doors because it's my house. This is lovely. I will find you. Go in your room. Make it easy. If you want. <laughs> make it easy if you want. I did that one for a little while. You you, you ever run run away in your house in your room to hide? That that's not a good room. That's not a good way to go. Who runs though? Just take that lick. Like I, I gotta take it. If I'm running, it's gonna be worse, bro. My dad was rude. My dad, my dad, 35 years older than me. He he was a mean looking fellow. I think everybody that that was born in between the civil rights area is mean. Is my dad's mean a, as shit. My dad's a boomer, and I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a, I'm not your generation. I'm the other generation, but I said a boomer dad. Oh, still it's tough. Like you a true millennial. With a boomer dad? Oh, With man. He, dad. Didn't, he, didn't, he didn't care about none of your dreams. Yo, he didn't care about none of my dreams. Oh, hell no. <laughs> my things are not you want to do all these feelings and colors? What the <laughs> fuck is going on? My dreams are trivial to him. Take your bitch ass over there and get you a goddamn application. My mm-hmm. dreams were trivial to him. Everything I, everything I desired to do was acting silly. <laughs> <laughs> is that how he called it? Is that Quit what he called silly. it? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Acting silly. Hey, Terry, Terry. I try to stack the Legos up for like you know, like make a little, like a little, 
like a little space thing. Like, quit acting silly. I was like, damn. Terry Ter- is letting go of childhood trauma. Y'all don't even know it. He, he let it go. Hey. hey. He told you to play with the Lincoln Logs too, huh? He said, fuck those Legos. It's too much, too much imagination. No. <laughs> it's nah, imagination. He loves, <laughs> no. You Legos. need to get a career in construction. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Your silly ass for me, I, got, I got this talk in these Lincoln hey, Logs. Hey, when I told him I didn't want to be an engineer, he didn't even talk to me about it. He just walked away. God, he was dang. disappointed. He was disappointed. For the in the engineer, he wanted me to be me, me to be an engineer. That's a very practical practice. Uh, also, when you told him you didn't want to be an engineer, he's just like, "Well, my grandmother wanted me to be a lawyer." Well, good for you. <laughs> and then walked away. Damn. <laughs> and what year was this, Terry? Oh, eight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! He sold it real good though. He never said like, "I'm not happy for it." <laughs> It's still a lesson man would have been like, "Hey, you're a bum." <laughs> That's true. That's true. He just like he still care good about for you. you. And, he he care like, about and then feelings. in his mind, he was like, "He a bum," and then he walked away. Hey, no, my parents, my said, parents to this day <laughs> cannot fathom that people pay me to talk. Yeah, like they literally, and they've been to shows with hundreds of people there, and they said like this. I still don't believe these people paid you to do this, baby. <laughs> no, that was a turning point for me and my mom. When I when I one day I was like, yeah, I get paid this 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 and this. She's like, wait, what? I said, like, yeah. <laughs> I said we made. A, I said I made. A, I said I made a couple racks last year doing this. She said, what? what? I, being silly. <laughs> being silly. I promise acting you. Acting a fool. I promise you. The, the second No Shirt album is gonna have our faces on it. I think it's gonna connect the dots for a lot of people in my life. It is that don't understand what we're really doing. They're just like, oh. He he was so smart, but he he doing them jokes. <laughs> he doing them jokes. That's what they think about me. Like literally, he was so smart, but Howard, he doing them jokes. So they go see the album, they'd be like, "Oh, okay." Well, let's switch it. Wes, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, a little hungover, a little you know. Little hungover. What you? We had a show did, last night. What you yeah. last night? You told hey. jokes last night. Yeah, I sung some jokes. Wes, can I ask you a personal question? What's up? How does it feel to be Bad News's favorite? White comedian for black folks. Bro. I think you've I think you've taken that did, that spot man. in 2020. It's uh it's honestly a true honor. I'm not gonna lie. It's Absolutely. uh it's pretty incredible. I love it. Like believe me, they like his like his set was like it was loud. It was loud. It was loud. 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 That's respect. That's respect right Super there. Super loud. So I mean, like he did his thing. Well, it's cool because like so Wes, myself, and Howard, we've been going to the the first the new open mic. Yes, right. New. Yeah. Shout out to Culture. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to Seabass. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we might get him on here at some point. And uh, you kind of you take from the first time like the show started till now, this second time, you like turned a corner. Like you right. did something different, and everyone's like noticing it for sure. I don't know. I think I just got like before COVID got too wrapped up in the comedy, too wrapped up in line 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 mm-hmm. and now i'm just like way more comfortable on stage and stuff like that so it's it's helped out it looks like you're comfortable too yeah i was hoping that because I, I mean i didn't see like i saw you pre-covid mm-hmm. but not as loose as you've been these last six weeks not as like i can tell you was trying to work out something before mm-hmm. this now yeah. you just go there and be like look i want to talk about this but if something happens I know how to, I know how to like flip it. Like you're, you're, it looked like you're present. Yeah. Well, I mean, even when I look back before COVID, my best sets were always whenever I could address something in the room. Mm. First joke. Yeah. Like the, I remember my first set that I recorded was actually really good at city bar. And, uh, I forgot his name, but he, a dude came up on stage and then he, y'all, y'all were playing some rap song and he, he was fucking, he, white guy went up and he was just like, Oh, I didn't expect to come up to this rap music song and he said that so then i went up there and then i'm like what happened with the rap music so- and like i just got the crowd <laughs> yeah. on my side that's that's exactly and it. then the set just flowed from there bro uh nah look something switched it switched perfectly good job though good job he did a great job last night really yeah he did a great job at the at the new club at the new club crawfish city crawfish, crawfish city, city. I, I couldn't make it i was at a corn maze we see, uh, yeah we're gonna talk about that too. we're gonna talk about that later <laughs> i need to you had a who? A corn maze, sir. A corn maze. No, a, what type of corn maze? It was haunted. Corn, uh, haunted. Haunted. Well, they had they had three different mazes. There was a... Who? Wait, 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 wait. Why would you want to do that on purpose? Why would you want to be in a corn maze that was haunted on purpose? Why would you want to go get lost? You about to see why. Well, first off, I ain't, I ain't never got lost in my Boom. entire life. Well, I'm waiting for the I got, I got, I got, I got... <laughs> 
extremities. Well, that this is your white lady, huh? This is your white lady. We 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 might have went on a double double date. Oh, Did yeah. you say a double double? I think that's a better way they to say that, a triple they that, double. They call it triples. Tri- now. Yeah, it's not a triple double. It's not a triple double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was three. Triple? It was three different couples. It was a double triple. Yeah. All right. So why why are we confused? Why is it not a triple date? Because it's three different couples. No, I think it's a triple date. That is a triple date. Yeah. <laughs> but there was also the third wheel. See, no, that's, that's, a, triple, that's a triple date with that's a triple date with a spare. A triple date with a spare. I don't know. <laughs> but we 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 set out to do it. Also, was this in town? It's in Walker. That's so not no, town. actually, not a town. meat. A meat. I'm sorry. It is a meat. Damn, y'all went out to eat meat? Yeah. Go get lost. Hey, why you playing? Hey, I, I didn't get to, lost. I so, wait, wait, was the sun out? No, sir. No. I wouldn't have done that. I ain't gonna lie. I go to a bed and breakfast and ate meat. Hey, that's why I go to like reset, bro. Bed it's called breakfast. Bienvenue. It's dope hey, as shit. Bed and breakfast is dope. Can you pass me okay. another one? My people out there, but we don't go out there with the, with the sun down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. When I go to the bed and breakfast, I don't even leave for three days. We used to leave. You in the like, house. We used to leave at like house. we used to leave at like nine thirty in the morning to make sure we could get there and get back. <laughs> <laughs> we were we weren't really with the with, with the race day. We were like trying. Oh no, to get I'm there. I'm there. Like I love that place. We were trying to get there and get back. I've, out. I went there and like I went to Bienvenue and literally came out with a with a screenplay and probably four jokes. Every time I go, I, I leave. Wait, so you like got that. a maze for man? So, so also, wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 you got a, you are the blackest Tyler I've ever met in my life, but you are a black Tyler. My name is Omar and I with see an apostrophe. You. When I see that you, I see black Tyler. Omar you can get. When I see you, I see black Tyler, and I know that you are black Tyler, and you are Tyler. I see you, I see Jake, I thought so you said matter. Tyler, but then you said black Tyler. So there's a white Tyler? There are white Tylers. There's many a white Tyler in the world. But a black Tyler, he looks just like him. <laughs> it's just not true whatsoever. You are the black Tyler. You're really revolutionary. You're gonna I'm, help us. I'm, you're gonna I'm, help us move forward. No, no you're I'm, gonna help us move forward. I'm you Harold. I'm Harold. Per- you, see I'm, that, you see that dude jacket? He I'm Harold. Per- He's Perino. gonna get that engineering job. You ex- I'm Harold Perino. I, I, that is. I don't look like Nigga, Gambino. You are not Harold Perino. I'm Harold Perino. I'm Harold Perino. I looked at that nigga today. I was like, that's me. What's? He's Mercutio, dog. Yo, he's Mercutio. Big balls. You're prettier than he is. True. All right, let's get to this corn maze. Yeah, so it's a haunted corn, corn maze. Wait, there's, it's a there's, triple three, date. there's three different corn mazes, too. There's two that are, are not haunted. There's nothing haunted about them. And then there's Wait. one where you go through the woods, then the corn maze that's haunted, and the woods is haunted, okay. and then a pallet maze, and then the you woods again. Pallet maze? A maze made out of pallets. I'm done. But it wasn't Why scared. would you do this? Well, my lady wanted to do it. Yeah. And, her and, it, and the, double, the double dates. The, triple. The triple date plus one, plus one triple date with spare. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're they're pretty fun, and the people we're going with they are pretty fun people. Can, so, I, ask, can I ask better dialogue? How was the spare doing during throughout this? Whole hey thing? man, I love that guy. He's fun. It was a dude. Yeah. Damn. He's a good dude. He's been he's been he on. Like, you, be, you ever noticed like how you whenever, go to like whenever a dude is the third wheel, like it's actually cool. Generally, but if yeah. it's a girl third wheel, like they can like ruin. Drama. I saw the, the man. Drama is on the, the man snuck. The man snuck in three Trulies, no, three White Claws and two Coronas in his jacket, and, and he gave them to the squad. Exactly. Oh my! He Same already player. won. Yeah, he was. He was a good he's player. He's not even a spare. He's, he's for a, everybody. He's an essential worker. Yeah, he was an essential. <laughs> Yo, he, no, he's six man. <laughs> so, six man. Six man of the year. Seventh man of the year, basically. So but, you know, I'm not saying yeah, all women. The bench, all women the are bad spares, like bad third wheels. I'm he, not saying that. There's some great. He Some great third wheels. Out there, but 2012 James Harden. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so you, the man. first two mazes, the hunt hunted ones, we went through them like in 15 minutes. Like, oh, wow. I, nothing. I got, I got a good brain on me. Right. Are you good at mazes like that? Yeah. Yeah. So then the the haunted maze, when we got through it, it was we were going through. I'm observant, so like you can't really sneak up on me. Like I got my eyes. I'm like looking. Well, you grew up black. Almost. Yeah, I grew up black. <laughs> so you've now been what, a, you've been whatever. a nigga for a long time. <laughs> but so <laughs> one of the couples, everything. one of the couples was like actually like scary all the time. Yeah. So they were just screaming at anything, and the funniest shit happened. They they had kids as as scares in the corn, like children of the corn in the maze, like running oh, around, they get beat the fuck up. <laughs> like all around. 
And this one kid, he was like, ah, ah, and he was trying to run through the court, and that nigga tripped. <laughs> oh, no. I would have de- Did you laugh? Did you I laugh laughed right there, little oh, boy. Oh, even kidding. I was like, what? He was, because he had like a scepter. Oh, young cornmeal. Young cornmeal. He was like, ah. <laughs> Hey, shit. I laugh. Me and Wait, my girl laugh. You ever seen Question. a zombie scrape Y'all his knee? Y'all all going together? Or <laughs> were you like, we were, if you decide, like, I know how to get out of here, follow me or don't. I, I, I did that at the end because they were taking too long. Cause I, oh, I, how long did it take? 40 minutes to go through the haunted, the haunted one. Ooh. But we stopped to pee. No lie. You and did then, pee on and the, then, and the and maze? One, one of the hunters, we got out the maze and there's a whole nother leg to go. And he goes, F this shit. I'm on break. They don't pay me enough for this. I was like, God, God damn. damn. Now I'm really scared. <laughs> this motherfucker is fed Take, up. Damn. Nigga takes off the wolf mask, sits down. He's like, I can't believe them. They punched my girl in the face. And this other chick's crying because she got she scared someone and they decked her. I was hey. like, this is this is real scary. All, that mean, that's more part of the job. There. This is part. This is all part of the maze. I'm like, keep going. <laughs> that means you don't even know it. Hey, that means there's more black people there. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yes. So for about... We sat for like ten minutes, and then and then we went through the palamaze, and I asked one nigga to rap battle. He thought that was funny. And Damn, just, you randomly rap battled a nigga. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like you maze. ain't scaring me. This so is amazing. wait, was it? Wait, can I be honest? Did you ask him that because you knew he wasn't gonna honor you, honor, and you knew he was gonna take the L? Yeah. Hey, a W is a W. No <laughs> I matter feel what. You, no matter what, it don't <laughs> matter. No, no, no. I, feel I fucking love that. <laughs> that you off the battle. When you like, when you know him, when you know a dude ain't about that life, and yeah. you just challenge him for some shit he can't do. And like, hey, rap battle right now. What's up with it? Nah, bro, I figured it, bitch. <laughs> bitch. Omar looked just eleven and oh, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you should lo- you should just yell out what your fucking record is. Keep it real. They when out. you see Omar, don't look like he know like a bunch of hip hop. Like you like, don't want to rap. Look like you spit, bro. He like he like he look he like listen to a lot of Black Thought he, before he got here. He yeah. like I did listen wanna, to Black Thought. You don't want to rap with him. No, <laughs> bro. He really listens. You don't want to rap with him. He don't he don't but got the guns. He don't. He do got most guns. deaf albums. He don't do the gangster. He do a rapidy rap. You don't want to play with Omar. But Omar, you've heard oh, you've heard what I've been saying on yeah. stage lately. Real talk, Absolutely. I don't Omar think I can... to, Omar listens to Flat Bajamis unironically. He likes real <laughs> rap. They do like yeah. rap, rap. And I still don't think I can be my dad. In He's a rap rapidy rap boy, really though. I still don't think I can be my dad in a rap battle. You think you can beat your dad in a rap battle? Yeah, my dad, my dad, old as fuck. Yeah, my, no, 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 I, no. no, no, no. Dude was born, I, I that dude was born that's, in the that's not dude was born in the fifties. I kill my dad in a rap battle. I would, I would fold him over. I would fold my dad over. No, I, in a I, don't rap battle. So. I don't think I could be what, now what in a I gotta make two battle? words rhyme Funny. to be my dad in a rap battle. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> talk, yo, talk, <laughs> yo. My dad, Believe, my now. dad quit rap around Big Daddy Kane. Oh shit! Oh, I got him. I got him easy. I don't know if Big Daddy Kane can rap. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> I got him easy. Like, does your dad like Scarface? He don't know who that is. Damn. Hey, you know who you do like? Happen. You know who you do like for real? For real, Kendrick, because he got a good ear. That's tough. But you know what I would do? I would dog walk him because you know he can't do recipe. I can do recipe. I'd be like, hey, do recipe. He would not be able to do it. And I would do it back to him. And he'd be like, hey, you out, you out the wheel. But you know what they did? One, the battle. So I'd be out of my wheel, but I'd win that battle. Ooh. I could rap better than, better than him easily. I don't think I could. I, I love that you over talking, which means you're trying to give yourself confidence. <laughs> it looked like you might 2 1 this. So you telling me that maybe your dad might get around? No, like, my dad could get around. In. Okay, all right. <laughs> I would, best I would never. Best no, 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 I would never three on my father. My dad, my dad, <laughs> no, my dad is dog. Right. I would literally right, three on my dad. But I'm getting no, I'm getting no, I'm getting first and third. Every, everyone, I'm getting first and third for sure. Best of seven record against their father. Start with Wes. Best of seven. Best of seven. No, I'm talking about in a rap in a rap battle. Rap battle. Rap battle. Three rounds. It's three rounds. No, it's a three round battle. It's three round battle. No, I want to do best of seven. That's not how battle rap battles work, babe. We make it rules. It's a rap make battle finals. So like, yeah, it's a rap battle final. <laughs> Sir, what you know about? I just watched the NBA. Come on, dog. Oh, okay. we talking about rap battles, though. We talking about like Love like Lux, Lux, Charlie Clips, URL. Spin it in smack. Man, I went. Last time I seen Don my brother, DeMarco. my brother, my brother is like 21. Yeah. Uh, I was saying to my dad since July. We, we were sleeping in the same room. This nigga put on rap battles to go to sleep. <laughs> Yo, no. So here's the thing. Here's why I can't get my I can't I can't say I'm gonna sweep my dad. That dude can always run. Oh shit! So he gonna get he gonna have one. He gonna he gonna, he get, gonna the crowd. get you one. He gonna no. He gonna steal the crowd. Like he okay. not he gonna he ain't gonna be better technically than me. 
Why my dad can crowd? always run. So I gotta rewatch your battle. And he know, and he win. gonna know me. Like, I don't know my dad, like he know me. He go, yeah. he gonna give, he, he gonna eight mile person. you. He gonna say something about me when I was fifteen. I was like, sir, <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were, I thought we had an allegiance. <laughs> this is a battle. So how how bad would you beat your dad in a series of seven? Two two one. Oh, in a series, series of seven. Series of seven. Those are only this. I got. I'm a two one them though for real. Oh, two one. Okay. I'm a two one for real. So that's that's, that's five, like, that's five. like a four four three. Like, yeah, four you know three. Four three. It went seven games. No, in, in six. I beat him in six. You beat him in six. In six. In six. <laughs> in six. In six. I'm sweeping the shit out of my father. You sweep? Damn. No matter what. No matter nah, what. Nah, my dad, my dad dog. That's in six. I'm an eclectic listener. Like, you got to understand. I listen to Far Side and I can listen to the Migos. Like, I'm crazy. But, like. My I'm, dad is my, my dad is my musical in, like, person. See, I share music. Me and my dad share music. My dad put me on Flatbush Zombies. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're going to lose. Yeah, you're going to get That's dealt with. <laughs> like, yo, your my, dad going to eat you up. My dad yeah. put me on Flatbush Zombies. I put my dad on Childish Gambino. Like. Yeah. I can I can share any music I yeah, like you with can my dad. Up. Yes. You can eat up. But can I know he knows what I know, but I know I don't know what he knows. Yeah, you gonna. My dad's R and B. I don't know if my dad's R and B. I don't know what the fuck my dad. My dad is New Jack Swing. Like he put me on Bobby oh, Brown. Oh, he was on that. Edition, okay, okay. Jodeci, Silk, all that stuff. Now my mom put me. My on dad that. grew up because uh, with with music being like, boy, that ain't nothing but shit to distract you. Go to school. Well, no, so, like, he was old so enough to saying, do that, but, like, the whispers, he not doing that. Oh, <laughs> he ain't singing on the corner? He was like, you better rock. Nah, he's like, Mm-mm. nah, we good on that. Mm-hmm. We straight. I think, my, I think my dad would push, like, a game five. Really? Mm. Oh. Okay. Game but five? you up 3-0, though, right? Oh, yeah. you up 3-1. Yeah, but you up 3-1. I'm up 3-1. Yeah. Okay, okay. I respect five. that. I respect well, that. the I reason is, though, because Terrence knows I don't read. I don't know enough words. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. You are from Wait, wait, wait. wait. You said you don't read, bro. We talked about this. We, I ain't, I told read. you I read a, read a book since high school, and I did oh, two years of college. We've talked about this. We yes. have talked about. We talked about this last week in the B sides. I was sweeping Jeremiah though, for the record. I, yeah. I hey, know. reading is hard to do. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like to sit down and actually just physically just. I get. I love it. reading, but I can do it. I mean, sweet Jeremiah. I love. Re- I read quick. Now I have. I, I have three books right now. I'm reading at the same time. No, I can't no, do that. impossible. That, yeah, I can't. I would have that. I would have three different stories come out of that. Absolutely, I'd be going to the wrong book for the wrong story. Reading, <laughs> Where the fuck is the Count of Monte Cristo? I'm reading Kevin Hart's first book. I'm mm-hmm. reading um, Superfoods uh, by Darren Olean. He's the uh, co-host of uh, Zac Efron's mm. um, Night the Stock Documentary. That's why I'm growing my beard out. I seen that man. I said, you know what? I'm gonna try it again. And then I'm reading <laughs> uh, Reese. Uh, who was on our show? First episode of our show. He yes, gave me a book about stand up. I'm just kind of casual Word. reading that. Yeah. Before we get out of here, did y'all see the video of Boosie and Mike Tyson? Yes, hot boxing with Mike. Yeah, absolutely, I have. Did you see Boosie get checked and also double checked by Mike Tyson? Well, First of all, it uh, happened like eight Mike times. Check whoever, whoever the fuck, fuck he was. Well, no, I'm that just was, thinking about the whole thing. About I'm just thinking about it. Like if, if if Boosie was sitting in your spot and I said what Mike Tyson said to him. He tried to choke me, but Mike Tyson said that, and he was like, "But yeah, what I'm, you, I'm not even really on that." What you gonna say? He well, first off, the whole you seen the whole video? I seen the whole video. The whole yeah. video, whole video. Mm-hmm. I seen like 20 minutes. So when when Boosie comes out, Boosie comes in the video. He's like, "I used to watch you on TV, man." Yeah, I used was, to watch you on so TV. Weird. You were a legend, it's man. It's a bucket list and, for me, doubt. And then <laughs> you know what Mike Tyson said? He said, "Sit down, Boosie. Sit down." Sit, sit, sit let's talk. Let talk. And he yeah. just and Boosie was like, and he just okay. sat down. I just he never can, seen yeah. a person that looked less to be trifled with than Mike Tyson. Well, I'm, it was it was so I like he doesn't look love. like he's supposed to be touched or dealt with in like regular people world. But he's not. But like I, 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 I don't know. The show he's, is still like you get high as shit. You, you know, like the intro was when he first got there. But you know when the show started, that was forty minutes in, six months later. You know it is. They were like this. Hey, so, so what you feel? What made you feel like that, man? What Not made the projects? You, no, we well, all what made you from, feel. We all came from. I'm look, a hustler, man. When, when he said, "Look, you ain't, you don't even know the motherfucking demons." That I, <laughs> I said, "Shit." <laughs> That's when I saw Boosie retreat. Boosie was like, "You right? I don't have those demons." Yo, <laughs> I, it scared me. He went there a couple times. Boosie didn't know it was a little bit of an interview about Mike. Yeah, Boosie thought he was getting interviewed. He was also watching an interview about Mike to himself. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Mike was talking to Amir at some points. And also, you don't interrupt that man because there's no reason to. Why? 
Why? There's, wait, wait, wait. Pause. Mike. Time. Time out. Time out. Time out. It's still Mike Tyson. Who do you got in Roy? Uh, have y'all seen this Roy uh, Jones Roy, Jr.? Yeah, Roy. Was, I mean, Roy, Roy Jones Jr.? Yeah, yeah. Who uh, y'all got in that fight? How many rounds do y'all think it's going to go? First of all, I think it's going to go four. You got Four? I'm going to give it four. He's going to win every round, or are you going to give Roy one round? Oh, no. I, I don't think. One person ain't going to make it. You, no, I'm just saying out of those four, you think he's going to win a round? Oh, Roy. yeah. Oh, Roy? Yeah, he's going he gonna to get one. He might get one. Maybe the second. I think Roy Jones Jr. is in trouble. How many rounds? He should not take the fight. How many rounds? He will not make it out of the first round. First round. All right, so here's my look at it. Anytime you see two professionals who've been out for a while, what always ends up happening? Yeah. One of them's not ready. One of them's not ready. Who's not ready? You know who's generally not ready? And we know who's ready. (laughs) It's It's Mike fucking Tyson, bro. That dude is ready. Also, wait, wait, wait. Roy Jones Jr. fought at like six different weight classes. Mike Tyson's like 5'9". He's like, you know what? I'm a heavyweight. <laughs> I'm a heavyweight already. This is who I am forever. Roy Jones Jr. used to fight like 145. Roy Jones Jr. had that shit working at like really low weights, and he tried to, and he worked his way up. Mike Tyson was like, you know what? I'll fight the biggest guy y'all got. <laughs> <laughs> he can't knock me out. <laughs> it's not, but, and they didn't. They literally didn't knock him out no, for like so like eight years. That's because he's one big muscle. Exactly. And Roy Jones Jr. ain't get strong enough in what, his you gotta downtime. Like, you gotta Roy Jones Jr. did not get strong enough in his downtime to knock the, him out. The one thing I can say is that, like, and this is my boxing mind going to this, Omar, is that Mike Tyson has a problem with people who have a reach and who move. And Roy Jones Jr. does both. I don't think I don't, Roy Jones Jr. Did is going to be both. moving that much. Did because both. He <laughs> does not want to have that fight. I think he's going to be shivering. I think this is this is what I, from the public perspective, this is what I saw. Mm-hmm. Mike Tyson was releasing these hype videos. All right, I saw him. <laughs> Fuck it up. Roy Jones Jr., I, the first video I saw was him eating some Doritos on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> that was his hype video? <laughs> Mike Tyson is paying for, for at least 4K. His videos you can stream on 4K YouTube. Roy Jones Jr., that shit looks like the same quality as our shit right now, which is which is just HD. We, nigga, HD's been out for 15 years. So you got to understand, like, I'm, I'm still a little scared, though, Omar, because... Mike Tyson have, looks like he's been training for a real fight. Roy Jones Jr. looked like he was training for a fight that he knew he was going to have pads on. Bro. I don't think Mike Tyson knew there was going to be pads on until, like, a month ago. <laughs> is that why they postponed it? Yeah. Dude, it's... <laughs> I have never seen a fighter who's been more crazy than Mike Tyson. Everyone who since then has tried to get to that. That dude was crying about how much he wanted to kill somebody. I, I remember in that, that video, he was like, "I just want to fucking I hurt them." I would just want to fucking kill him. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, this nigga is emotional." Nigga, yeah. <laughs> that's that's a different type of level. He he went on Rogan and he said, "When he knocks somebody out, it feels orgasmic." Yep, I remember that one. <laughs> I did not watch. That. He said he gets a sexual that? rush that, that. from knocking somebody out. <laughs> Yo, Mike Tyson is different. Mike Tyson made a cartoon show where it was basically Scooby Doo, and that <laughs> shit was hilarious. That show was hilarious. The pictures of Mike Tyson, on, and it was like an Asian so chick. Cartoon Network, man. Yeah, it was it's amazing. Also, you heard, Mike Tyson's different. You heard Norm Macdonald on that? He was the pigeon. Yeah. yeah. He, was, <laughs> he said, "You know, sometimes we forget that's Mike Tyson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he could literally kill us." Part yeah. of the problem with Mike Tyson is. He has known for the longest of time he's given up reach. And he doesn't really care. He is okay with getting hit in the face. He is. Because he, he knows, knows he can say hit you in the face. That you ain't gonna be able to take it. And you that. ain't gonna like it. <laughs> I, I'm just scared of one I'm scared of one move that he does. He wants to be hit and in it's, the face. It's literally a right hook and then it's an uppercut. Oh my and God. if he if he like it's one move he does. It it happens so fast. So he right hooks you in the rib. So you try to block it, so your hand comes down, and literally the uppercut comes right after it. And I don't know if Roy is a... Uh, because you got to sacrifice something. You got to sacrifice either the rib or your head. So I don't know which one you want. Them shits look like they hurt. I don't yeah, think, Terrence, they I fucking don't, hurt. I don't think I could... I don't want to fight Mike Tyson until he's 120 years old. No. That man was still <laughs> always have. I used to remember. I'm going to wait till that nigga I used to remember. in the crypt. My uncles and my cousins used to have the scenarios. Killer. They were like, how much money would you take to fight Mike Tyson? And they kept saying numbers, and I was like, I haven't heard the number. <laughs> it's not a number yet. It's not a number yet, because 
He's going to ruin your life. Bro, like, you're the, not going to feel safe any, walking anytime around. Anytime you play in those games, too. You're not going to feel safe walking around if Mike Tyson, like, knocks you out your body. Like, if he hits you in, the, in, in your torso and you, like, fold, you're not going to feel safe no more. <laughs> How would you feel safe no more? He, like, buckles you in your body. He even hits you in the face. Actually, he in just buckles world, you. He in just this world, I would, I would feel safe because not everybody knows I took a shot at Mike Tyson and I'm still here. But you, <laughs> but you only kind of hit still here. That's true. I've seen Mike Tyson hit somebody in their body and they fold it. But like the a people, man that was like trying to win a championship. Yeah, the thing about that is too, it's like that's people who are close to winning a cha- high level boxers. Exactly. <laughs> and their their careers are my abs not built like that, <laughs> bro. You sit on the couch all day. You take a hook <laughs> from Mike. T- Yo, You're your abs gonna... are folding. Yeah, I will fold. He's folding you. Your liver might your liver might come hey, out. I sparred once in my life, and believe me, boxing is not. He used to. He used to spar. Not I used to spar. Me. The spar man the, used to spar. Spar with the end of no show. He hit me in my eye one time. I really? said I'm never getting that hit in my face again. I started doing the. Uh, oh, the, the, the Mayweather. The Mayweather. I do show the Mayweather. The block. I do, <laughs> hey, you can fuck my whole body up. I don't want to get hit in the face. That's sh- getting, getting hit. hit getting hit in the face and not. Seeing it coming oh, yeah, is the one true. of the worst experiences of my entire life. My I, I older agree. cousin wanted us to get the boxing gloves on, and he had the boxing gloves, and we did the thing. That is the one of the worst two minutes of my life. <laughs> That's when you figure it's out not really even, how long two minutes it's is. It's not even fun. You think like, stage is. Yeah, you nah, think the nah. stage is. <laughs> Start it's, boxing for a three-minute round. And it seems so, like, it, got it another hurts minute. so bad. It's not even fun. It's not. It's not. Boxing That's why is, they, that's why they deserve all the money they get, man. Boxing's not good. Nah, I'm a boxing fan. Lomachenko just lost. He deserved to lose. You watch that? You watch yeah, Lomachenko? I did watch Lomachenko, but uh, he deserved to lose because he, he kind of sat back for like seven rounds before he got started. It is his fault, but I do believe he deserves a rematch. So I'm just putting that on the record for all the boxing fans out there that I believe he does deserve a rematch. But he did get his ass whooped. It's on him. And Roy Jones Jr. will get his ass whooped as well. Yes. So let's oh, talk oh, first round. I I get I got I give first it round. I give it you gonna give it three rounds? I give it three. Does first he win the round though? Uh, Does Roy Jones Jr. win the round? I think Roy Jones Jr. wins the first round because they're gonna have this that's the initial spark. They're gonna be if he gets past three, Roy Jones wins. I don't think he gets past the first. Honestly, I think I don't think he wins after th- bro. I don't think he gets out the first one. I believe he is, man. I believe I believe because of their age, it I'm a I'm a, I'm stretching it out, but I believe you Roy de- Jones Jr. You're deceptive. Gonna... You believe that Mike is much older than he is. No, I know exactly how old he is. Yeah. He's fifty one. How do you think of Roy Jones is? He's forty eight. They can separate. I believe they're gonna have that first initial spark of it's old man energy. Yeah, old Adrenaline's man. gonna kick in, you're gonna be having fun. Roy Jones Jr. is going to be able to calm his mind quicker. The then, overhand right don't have nothing to do with no adrenaline. Yeah, it's not a calm mind on that overhand right. The overhand right is different. But all he got to do is wait we, for the hey, adrenaline to run off, and it will. If he make, that's what I'm saying. If he make it past round one, that's true. then he can probably win. I don't think he makes that around. Also, one. they got pads on. We talking about pads on? They got they got headgear and everything on. That's why I'm also giving it. Oh, like it's it's almost yeah, like like yeah. the Olympics. Oh, yeah. Okay, bitch. yeah. That's why. That's why. Even I'm, still. I only, I only gets out of there. That's what I'm saying. Like Tyson's a bad human being. I know, I know he is. I know he is. Also, can we, can we, can we make a quick acknowledgement? My younger brother Jeremiah keeps putting the red light on, and I'm put him in, a, I'm put him in a no, 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 submission at some point. No, no, today. no. I, I, I appreciate it. This, this is our time keeping. And he said, "Come here, oh, time keeping and mean. and top of keeping." All right. Oh, wow, so dope. Let's yeah. do one more Let's thing see. before we get Howard up out of here. We got, we got a couple more. We got a couple more things. He keeps putting the red light on us. We got like probably one more thing. No, it means to switch the topic. But he keeps wanting to switch topic every time. No, it's because we spent we too long on. on we we spent we spent ten minutes. This on, the, on Roy this Jones the fourth Jr. time he put the red light on because us. because we kept saying on Roy Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson because <laughs> it matters to us. No, it was good. It was good. I wish I would have known what that was for because I would have switched. Well, we didn't well, no, have, we didn't have a meeting with you. I'm a, I'm I had put, a meeting with them. I'm putting him in the walls of Jericho. I'm putting him in the walls of Jericho. That ain't gonna matter. You put him in the walls of Jericho. Yeah, that's, I'm gonna that's horrible. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, best out of we hey, how many back. rounds? How many rounds you think you and Jeremiah can go? He gonna tap real quick. Really? He don't got that. Word. Are we talking mix? Or are we talking boxing? I I say boxing, boxing only. Oh, boxing? Just boxing. I don't even think about that. I was gonna put him in naked choke. <laughs> no, exactly. I mm. I gotta equalize it. I know. You I don't want to hit Jeremiah in his face. 
You got the, you got a soul body. I don't want to hit you. Yeah, in my, in the face. I just want to let you know that he's already made a decision that he knows he's gonna hit you in the face. <laughs> I don't want to hit you. I just, I just want you to know face. he has that much confidence. Like I don't want to hit your mind in his face. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Bro, you know you know how it's always start, can, body I'm shots re- only. How how long does that last? <laughs> I can run and choke him. <laughs> No, I can remember Jeremiah, no challenge. No, I think, I think, I think, I can think it goes seven rounds. He's ticklish. I can, re- I can really make joke. If y'all had the box, it would go seven rounds. All right, Howard. Yeah. You know I love you and respect you. Absolutely. Oh, that sounds dangerous. No, I don't. love is never dangerous when it's when it's between friends. Love is definitely. <laughs> <laughs> he said when it's between friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Love is never dangerous when it's between friends. <laughs> you said that so smoothly. You rehearsed it. No, that that shit, man, you lie, you lie real good. <laughs> Don't tell my girl. Uh, a... <laughs> so, so I have I have a I have a very specific question to ask you. All right. You, you did the TED talk. Now I don't know if you know this. I've no lie watched your TED talk video thirty times. Damn. How I remember. I remember when you were preparing for it, we talked about it yeah. at the mics, but how was it being a comedian and getting into that space? How was it for you to switch gears like that? Because TED, TED Talks are informative, mm. but yours is in, intrinsically informative, mm-hmm. but also funny. And you're, But you're given so much game about how our world is to, mm-hmm. to the people who... I can talk about stage time, presence, reading the room. They don't understand. Also, you're pretty young to be doing that. Yeah, you can you can actually say that. But I yeah. mean, to answer the question, uh, I told them like when they came to me and I was selected, I told them like if I'm gonna do this, I'm not just about to have a seven or eight minute talk about stand up or about comedy and the and the, you know, the intricate, like, words and, like, what we know about, like, bits and premises. And I'm not about to do that. Like, yeah. I, what I want to do is, like, I have to I have to show and tell when it comes to comedy. So, like, luckily I had, like, a handle that was, like, okay, I'm okay with that, but I still need you to write it down word for word. That was actually harder for me because mm-hmm. I'm not a word for word comic. Like, yes. I yeah, you and I are pretty yeah. You like to go like, off yeah. what you have. I, like, I literally, like, I know how to... I know how, like, I know this joke by heart, but I'm not going to deliver it until I see who I'm in front of. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of how I take it. So I literally had to, like, for instance, I literally had to write them my, because I, I told them I'm going to do a three-minute set, then I'm going to do a four, like, man, a four-minute explanation. Or it might be a four-minute set with a three-minute explanation. I just told them it was going to be that. Did you rehearse that speech before you gave it to them? No. I just told them I'm not doing that. Because nobody would, like, I believe that would just be a boring talk. Yeah. It would just mm-hmm. be boring. Like, I've seen talks where people just talk about comedy without actually the implementation of what you're talking about or an example of what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. So, like, if I could have showed video of, like, maybe, you know, y'all doing a set and be like, all right, that was the premise. And you said, like, now that's like a dissertation, but nobody wants a dissertation on comedy. I figure, like, hey, if I make them laugh first and they don't know what the hell is going on, mm-hmm. I'm going to break them. Yeah. So I broke them. And I was like, the jokes are going to break them because they ain't even going to know what the hell is happening. They think they're supposed to be getting information. But I was like, look, I need to break them first. So let me just do these jokes for three minutes. So I wrote down some shit. I did write down some shit <laughs> that I knew that I was going to do. I didn't tell them what order I was going to do this in. And I didn't tell them like, specifically what I was. But I said, I know I can stay to a time. Mm-hmm. So my time was like on the floor. Oh, so, that's, that's interesting. Oh, absolutely. Like, Believe me, I, I, I needed that. So I was like, even though I know how to, I have an internal cadence to cut off my set, I still like, oh, like, all right, cool. And when I get to the three minutes and 45 seconds mark, I know to like close out and start the explanation part, which actually was word for word, uh, except for little like intricate things that I did for the people in the crowd, like that, that probably responded. But other than that, I knew I needed to do that. Like, that's the reason they selected me. Mm-hmm. So I was like, look, I, I have to do it. Like, if we're doing it any other way, I can't do it. Gotcha. I just can't. I don't think you would get it. Like, go get somebody else. I have to perform. Matter of fact, in front of that many people, I'm performing. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> How many people were in the audience? What, 500? Like 500 or something. Yeah. Plus, with the mayor and city council. You were the LSU, right? Governor, yeah. I was the, like, fuck the that. theater. Yeah. It was crazy. It was like shit. It was like a comedy show. It's a theater. It is one of the, for me... I watch it all the time, and I just I, I still learn something from it. Even even 
me being this deep into the game. I wrote that shit. While me, Mike Honore, and Will Merrill and Robert Rao was in, we had a show in Gonzales at the, oh, what was the name of the place? It was like a, a gated neighborhood mm-hmm. golf, I forgot what oh, it was. Oh, that golf show? The golf the, show. The, golf, the country club? Yeah. yeah. That's, I started that set then and I was like, all right, cool. These are the jokes I'm going to be doing. Let me mm-hmm. work these out for the next two weeks. So I worked them out for two weeks and then I had to write them down and I was like, all right, here. Because you literally got to turn it. I met with my TED Talk person, mm-hmm. like, I think when we first started, it was like, all right, every two weeks. And then when it got down, like, close to December, like, November, December, it was, like, every week. And mm-hmm. then in January, I was seeing her, like, three, four times a week. Mm-hmm. And then, like, February, it was like, all right, finalize, send it in. This is what we're doing. Now we got to do, like, we had to go into LSU and, like, for a month, we up here doing, like, test runs. How often do you hear from people about that? What? About what? That TED Talk. That TED Talk? It only, it's only people who are literally booking me. Like, they're booked. It was like, yo, I saw your videos online plus your TED Talk. Like, I hear that. I'm like, all right, that's dope. What's up? I wonder just because of that, like, how many people that you inspire that are, like, younger comics because it was, it makes no sense. Probably for like older comics to be like, yo, I see what he's saying. But as a younger comic, I can see how inspiration that could be and be like, oh, no, I know what I need to be doing. Well, I, I, like you I kind hope of, it's, it's I kind hope of an inspirational it. thing, you know. I mean, I hope they get it. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, if I haven't been, I haven't been told that, yo, I watched your video and it helped me be a better comic. I ain't, I ain't been told that. But I had like. Just like Omar said, like, it all depends. Like, most people don't even know they can talk to me. I don't know. Is it weird? Am I intimidating or something? That makes sense, though. I've never felt like I couldn't talk to you. I've, okay. bounced, I've bounced stuff off yeah, of you since the, the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, before I've been a, before I think I had seen you do, seen me do comedy, I'd have felt that way. Mm. That's okay. that's kind of how it was for me with uh, Greg. It's a lot about oh, it's a lot yeah. of with good oh. comics. With a good comic, if you haven't if they haven't seen you do your stuff. Mm-hmm. It's hard for you to prove that you're a comic. They might think you're a fan, or I, I or never put or you a hack, fan. or a hack, and it's harder for you to prove that you're not those things. I can't if prove, you haven't done it. I can't prove you a hack or real until I see you. But so, that's what I'm, but that's what but I'm I saying. But I trust you that you're a comedian. Though. But that's what I'm. But I'm saying like once you know I'm not that, it's easy oh, for me to talk to you. Oh, it's easy to talk to. Oh, I got you. I like got if you. I know you see me, you go because you, you used to come in the station do five minutes for no reason. Yeah. And sometimes you hang out. Yeah. Sometimes you wouldn't. You hang out and you're in the room. I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give you a good five because I'm trying to, I'm trying to pop everybody in there anyway. Absolutely. And then once I know you've seen, it, I'm not even gonna talk to you after that. But I know I've he was here. It. He like he had to like it. He, ain't the way he thought it was. I'm gonna be honest with you. I do the same thing. I've done the same thing. Like coming up, like I know somebody's in the room and be like, "Fuck it, I'm just going balls to the wall." Mm-hmm. No, and that's the thing. Like once you once you know that, it makes everything different. But like. Especially like a like a like a younger comic, mm-hmm. you trying to impress somebody. But Howard Hall walks in the room, you trying to impress him. If he's still in the room, you're gonna try or to impress get, him. Get his feedback. Yeah, get feedback. Yeah. So, <clears throat> younger comics not gonna necessarily want to talk to you. But I watch. Yes, then they would yeah. want you to watch. Yeah, because I I want like some nights they don't even know I sit there and watch all night, and like if I like if I believe you you like you you got something I'll step to you and be like yo. Love what you're doing. Don't stop. Like, yeah, I'll never be like, I'll never big bro you. Because I still believe, like, comedy is subjective as shit. Like, I believe it's some shit that Wes does that I don't know how to do. Or you do that I don't know how to do. Or Omar does that I don't know how to do. So I'm not about to be like, guess what? This is what you need to do, Omar. Let me mm-hmm. tell you something. Like, because you got the game wrong. No. Guess what? It's some people that he make laugh that I can't make laugh. You talked to me unsolicited probably, like, in 2016. Really, I remember the mm-hmm. first time you told me it's like came out your pocket, came out your pocket to let me know something about my set. Word, mm-hmm. you, what joke was it? Do you know? You remember it? I don't. I it might have been Vermont. I think it was the Vermont one. I love that joke. Do you remember the first joke you told me that you was you it the Jenny joke? Yeah, I love that joke. God, I love it was that at, it was at Will's mic. Mm-hmm. I love it. You yeah. you. You've talked to me before about different stuff. Mm-hmm. We we were we used to rap about like the process, like not writing, and, yeah. and you were like, I think you're like me, you know, you just, you just write stuff after you do it. Mm-hmm. I remember doing that will set. You you grab it. You were like, hey, 
don't not do this joke. Ever. Yeah, don't ever not do that joke. You were like, I know we had this conversation. Do this Forrest Gump joke. <laughs> Keep that shit. Keep that shit. It's jokes that when I hear y'all do them, if I know, I'll be like, man, I wish I would have did that. I know it's good. I know. That Popeye's joke that Wes did. <laughs> I yo, love it. I care I love about it. it so much because first that wasn't of all, even, that I, wasn't even the bathroom attendant. That was just crackhead, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> that's like, just how they talk at Popeyes. <laughs> that's bruh. That's how they talk at Popeyes, bruh. Do you understand how completely complex, racist, and like uh, and and convicting <laughs> that is? Because look, at first, is is racist because the person is thinking that you are talking about a black like this so good. But the fact <laughs> that the fact of the matter is, it's only racist if you disagree. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. If you agree, you can't even call it racist because you already. <laughs> that's a fact. And I love like when I hear jokes like that, like that are, are like simple. And like conversation, like I'm like, that's Yo, how Bill Burr works. Great. Bill Burr works in it. He can talk about black people because it's only racist if you disagree. Yes. If you don't disagree, he talking facts. He's in my. <laughs> and he generally is talking facts. Bill Burr is literally in my top three. He's talking facts. I just want to let y'all know that. Consistently, he's, he's been in my top. He's three. consistently talking facts, so it's not racist. Yes. If you disagree, it's like that's racist. I've, I've but learned, he's not talking. He's not. He's not. He's not. I've learned to be more honest in comedy because of Bill Burr. Real shit. I got more comfortable talking. Crazy between you and Mike. <laughs> you and Mike. Mike. Will, Mike will. Mike told me I can talk about anything. Well, so like you showed me that if they like you, they're going to listen no matter what happens. No matter what. And Mike told me if they like you, they're going to listen to whatever you say. Mm. So That's, I've been in yeah. rooms where Mike not there and you not there. And I can like. I can kind of work as like the top dog. They're going to listen to me no matter what. No matter what. So I can just work on the mic. I can just figure something out. And you, I can say some things that don't necessarily have the funny in it. Trash. Life is trash. I don't even remember how I thought that was a good idea. But I can talk and not be funny necessarily yet. I can make a premise. Yeah. And when I find where I hit somebody, I can make it funny after that. I got you. I don't have to be funny off the jump. Off the jump. Yeah. I hate being funny off the jump. I don't think that's a requirement. I can find my premise in a room if they like me. I learned that from Mike. Mm. And I learned from you that they're going to give me that time anyway because I'm because if I'm if they know I'm funny. You know, if they know you're funny, I'm going to care I've about seen where you, you take me. I've seen you just set up a story and you tell a story that's like five minutes and you don't get to like a real punch to like, like two minutes in. Yeah. yeah. But then it starts going and everybody was listening the whole time. So they get their whole payoff, but they know you about to be funny, so they give it to you. See, this is the thing, like how, like, but how long? But like, you gotta earn that. But and I'm, a, I'm gonna ask y'all, what do y'all think? How long does it take for a crowd to trust you, like truly trust you? Twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. I agree with you. First pop, I pop them once. You think like, you pop them the first? The first. I pop them once. They know I'm good. How how long do you think you got before you do it? I got. I got. I got 35, 45 seconds. You got 45 seconds. Where's what you think? I, I set up my first joke, and it's a, it's a quick joke. So I'm probably around Omar, like 12. In yeah. le- if the person in front of you is not, if, if the person in front of you was good, mm-hmm. they don't have a phone in their hand. That's true. Wait, wait. They're already watching. If they have a phone in their hand, that's different. Just to, you got to work if they have sure somebody. Like, this is to get them to trust you or think you're funny? I think they trust you when they think you're funny. Okay, so it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I still say 12 seconds. If the seconds. person in front of you is bad, they might have their phone in their hand. If they don't have their phone in their hand, then you have some time. Mm-hmm. Well, let's say you don't have to, you don't have to convince the... Let, well, let's say you don't if have to... If somebody was bad, if I see somebody bad in front of me, I'm going to jump early. You got to do it in like 30 seconds. 30 neutral, seconds. But neutral crowd. Neutral crowd. A neutral crowd, I got time. You got time. I got 30, 45 seconds. They know what they came to see. I'm going to be honest with you. They I, came to see somebody. They came to see somebody and entertain them. Yeah. They're not... They're going to wait for it. They're not rushing. I'm going to say 10 to 15 seconds before they know they can trust that this two-minute joke you're about to tell me is worth listening to. I like to pepper my all my jokes with jokes in the middle. That's true. I don't like to... If I'm telling a full joke, yeah. I want you laughing the whole time. The whole time you're in the joke. I'm tricking you into, I'm tricking you into the story. You can find it out midway through as a story. I want you... I'm trying to get you laughing every, month, every mm. minute. I feel like... I write it that way. Like, I write my joke... I write the story. 
I put the jokes in after the I bits the, in. Yeah, yeah, after the story. After the story. After I don't story. disagree with you, but I feel like if you've been funny for a certain amount of time mm-hmm. and then you decide to break off and do some some introspective shit, yeah. That's not necessarily funny. They're going to still trust you because you've given them so much already. I agree with that too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Like I trust Dave to take me down a road than I would take anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like 8 minutes 46 seconds. There were still laughs in there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Also, if I don't know if they, how they feel about me, that first thirty seconds, I'm gonna pop them right, right quick before I go to my real set. Well, I give them, I give them something that I did in the room, for the room to make sure they know I'm funny. Mm. And once they know I'm funny, then we can like do everything else. Do you get nervous? You're not gonna be able to find that though. Mm. No, I have. Come, to be quite I was, honest, I, to be on the show honest, yesterday, I yeah. was super nervous till five minutes before my set because I'm like, what am I gonna open with? Yeah, I'm and a youngest like, child right, and a youngest cousin, and then that's oh, bro. I'm a youngest child and a youngest cousin. So wait, wait, wait. Like that's that's what I, I I enjoy that. Yeah, what, I starting? enjoy that like that 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 uncertainty. Yes, you got to find it. He had to find it. He was in that room, kind of figuring out. Where, Yo, his first, learn, he had to learn it. His you know? first words was, "Man, thank y'all for inviting me to the Glen, bro. The Glen Oaks, bro. That, <laughs> it went wait. on fire." Wait, Wait what? Say, what? Say exactly what you said. What you said? I said it's great to be here at the Glen Oaks football banquet. <laughs> <laughs> right when he said it. Wait, at what? At least eight seconds of laugh. That's like the shit he said the other day. He said, uh, "Promised Land Baptist Church." No, bro. no, 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 no. The shit about ru- the shit about no, <laughs> it's amazing. no. You, oh. Louisiana Tech, but you called it a uh, oh, uh, Cracker Gremlin. <laughs> Cracker Gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there at my table. I was like, "Cracker Gremlin." I would have no. rolled, bro. I was dying. He, you can read a room. I'm the youngest child. I'm. I was used to reading rooms. I was used to sitting in a room and listening to everybody else talk mm-hmm. and understand what people care about in the room. That's reading a room is easy to me. It's so easy. you can read a room. I can read a room easily, and I can take a chance that that I don't necessarily deserve. Like. I wouldn't necessarily go where he goes. Or West Graham? goes. You would never say Crocker Graham? <laughs> no, I might. But I, would want, <laughs> I, I would be. I would make sure I had somebody with me though. He probably when he came by with his lady probably. I would have had my friends with me. <laughs> but I would. I would make that. I would take that chance because I know. I know the funny. If I know the funny on the other side, like I'm taking the chance. Like I used to say some crazy stuff in in front of my teachers because I know if I'm funny, I'm not getting written up. That's true. That's true. You can't get a referral but, if the teacher laughs. They don't. They don't ever laugh while they ref, while they nah, write while they writing a referral. It's no. when you offend them that's when they get written up. Yeah. See, like now, my you, my homeboy. I'm, I'm still at a point like especially like right now like it's like reading a room is I, that's good but like literally but like right before COVID hit I was at a point where I was like fuck the room I know what I want to talk about I know the pace I want to talk about it mm-hmm. and I got to bring them into what the fuck I'm doing. But do you think the room yes. knows they're going to like you before you even get up? I don't think so. I, well, I think so because you told me you were like, you got to look good. Yeah, you got to look good. I ain't going to lie. And like you come on, the way you come on stage, the way you would, you come on stage and you do your thing, just the energy you bring. Are you a younger it, sibling or an older sibling? It draws me. I'm the youngest sibling. Just, how did I know that? I did, you, that. did you feel like when you were growing up that you needed like approval or needed some crowd? Oh, Absolutely. I had a 4.3 GPA. So for me, when I was a younger sibling, I was just like, I'm going to just read this room. When I get my time, I, I'm, I know what I gotta, everyone wants to, do, wants, wants to hear. Absolutely. We used to have a game where I had to make people laugh. Oh, shit. Specifically me. And I know what people make making people laugh because I'm lip syncing to them. Oh, shit. All, no, I'm doing is do sitting, all I'm doing is sitting there waiting. Like, learning I've always made laugh. my family laugh, but I never thought that I like that I was the one that they chose to make them laugh. I was watching like, everybody do everything. Mm. Like I was really good at shutting up. I didn't know this could have been a job. I didn't know this was a thing. No, I I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, so like, so, so Keenan Thompson changed my life. I saw him do all that in Keenan Kell, and I knew that this had to be something real. Did you say Keenan? <laughs> Keenan Thompson changed my life. He was doing a sitcom and a sketch show he within was. one hour, and I was like, I don't know what this is. I want to do that. That looks ridiculous. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I I. And yeah, he's like, yo, because he's a contemporary of yours, more or less. Like, yeah. He's a little bit older than you, but I mean, still. But if I was doing, if I wasn't doing stand-up, I'd be acting. That's real. Yeah. Like, he was doing, he wasn't a stand-up, but he was, 
He was still a, a dope comedic actor, though. A great comedic actor. And he was a perfect straight man, which is why I feel like I know straight men more than anything else. Because he was in Keenan Kell world, he was straight man. Yeah. And all that Kel he was, was doing. Was all types good. of wild stuff. And I could see the balance. I see him do that in one hour. Mm hmm. He but could be he was, super dude and also be like Keenan Rockmore from Chicago. But still, I didn't know that you could still get paid to like talk to people on stage and make them laugh. Bro. Well, like yeah. when I found when I found it was actually like, you know, because you see like the big stars and stuff and you just assume that just kind of happens. Yeah. But like to me, it was like I'd say Chad Daniels. Mm. I was like, oh, Ooh. there's a middleman in this group. Yeah. <laughs> like there's <laughs> like no one just blows up and then gets it. Right. There, there's people who there's, hit the road who are constantly doing the road that you might not know about. I found Chad Daniels accidentally. Yeah, man. And it's just like, oh, shit. Bro, it's some... It was like three years ago, so we didn't have his Amazon thing yet, but... Bro, I know some road comics that, like, famous comics do not want to see... They don't want no smoke with. Yeah. Like, they that good. And sometimes, I, be, I do believe this. You could be too good to become famous. I believe you mm -hmm. can be that. You could be too... You could be dangerously funny. Yeah. Like, there is a, a, a segment of... Of funny where TV and and production people and marketing be like we can't we can't touch him we can't mm -hmm. touch him because he's he touches all the bad well that's because of his mind the minds some people have crazy minds that like nobody can like give him approval for mm. if you have a crazy mindset and a crazy ideas on things and nobody gets your approval you don't feel like you're comfortable at all times. You can perform your way out of a lot of stuff, but like if you have like crazy opinions, people might be like, "Whoa!" But see, you I can't can, say I that. Think, I think I could. I think I can literally articulate my crazy opinion mm -hmm. if they give you the chance. That's true. But like, like doesn't it kind of come in waves though? Because I mean, you know, there was that time in the eighties you had like Kennison and shit just doing completely well, and then it kind of just became Kennison, but not you, okay. But to be fair, but to be fair, to be fair okay. there's a lot of people around Kennison that era that got sitcoms, and Kennison did not. Yeah. That's true. But he also didn't have He was around good a lot of specials. people. He was bigger than a lot of people and that got sitcoms. He also He's, didn't have sobriety. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. But, I mean, there's like, a lot of them that didn't have sobriety that got sitcoms. That's true. And he did not because they didn't necessarily trust him with his situation. Well, that was the goal. I think but that, do you like, want one? Do you, I mean, if it's more you like acting and shit. But sitcom, like, is, a sitcom is a lot of money, was, bro. This this I would most check. definitely want to. This I would, yo, I ask it. Jerry Seinfeld if he, he would have wanted to be a, a stand-up all the time or have a show. Yeah, I don't know. See, Ask I'm, Tim Allen I'm if he wanted to have. I'm addicted to stand up, so. No, you wouldn't be addicted to stand up, but that money from. Oh, from TV and every. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But from I would come where you could do your act. Like Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby had an act for 10, 20 years. He had other shows, but when he got to actually put his comedy on a on a show, mm -hmm. changed his life and changed what he did. And he actually got to influence people. Yeah. Because his comedy, his comedy on Parenthood. That he had on the stage that people like people that care about comedy cared about didn't really matter the same way that it mattered on Cosby Show. Cosby Show has changed how people raise their children. See, this is all right. So I, I, it's not. I'm not pivoting, but I, I do have this opinion. I do believe that everyone that does stand up that's that's remotely good, like understand, remotely good, mm -hmm. can be put in a position that they can look. Like them best, like their best selves, mm -hmm. which yeah. means like Wes, I could put you in a position in front of certain people, in front of a certain crowd, like pictured a certain way that if I package this right, you supposed to be on Comedy Central, right? Correct. Because you have Comedy Central jokes, like you are mm -hmm. funny. It's just that nobody sees us. Right. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's the only difference. Like I believe the only difference between the people that we love and us is that they seen them. Mm -hmm. That's it. I don't think there's a level that Cosby you make show people laugh. That Cosby show pilot is literally Bill Cosby turned up. Yeah, all the way up. He went from talking about how his son is silly to talking about how Theo is. No wonder you get D's and everything, and people laughed at that because he, he turned it up. He turned it all the way up. But I, I just, but I want a lot of people could have done that. What I'm, what I'm, I guess what I'm getting at is that I'm trying to get young comments, even like I, I mean, I've learned myself, which I think this is the reason why. I guess people look at me and be like, damn, he keeps doing this. It's because I keep renewing myself. Like I still, mm -hmm. like I literally look, I don't look at like, man, I wish I could be Kevin. I'm like, I'm doing the same shit as Kevin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how, like, you, that's where you got to put your head at. Well, well I think original material kind of changes all that too. True. If you keep making original material, then that not, envy part don't really matter as much. 
And I, I just know that I can make people laugh the same way. Exactly. Like, because even I, if he's in a room and he first or he glass, I'm making them laugh. But I think in a way. world that like a like a Cosby and a Pride coexist because they both creating their own stuff. And they're like, you know what? I've been, I knew you from Absolutely. way back. I know you from way back. We both creating stuff that matters that people enjoy. Yes. Yeah. I believe we all can exist. I believe at, everybody's I, point of view is needed to be heard. And to piggyback off of what you said, like the exposure thing, that's something that I didn't really, I slightly understood, but it didn't click to me till our mutual friend, mm-hmm. you know, through yeah. TSC. Absolutely. He was like, I get paid to talk in front of people just like you, but they pay me thousands of dollars and I'm not funny. Yes. And he's like, there's thousands of people making money in this country doing what you do, not as good as you. And they're making, and they're making bank. bank. There's something that has in the crowd too. Yes. Which that Ted talk going back to the tech talk shows me a thing when you watch Howard that you don't necessarily notice when you watch Howard as a comic. Mm-hmm. He got a crowd in his hand. Yeah. That's what I make sure I try to do. Nobody's moving when you talking. Whenever we, whenever we remade you do the weather joke, yeah. Nobody moved. That's my favorite. That's my favorite joke. I didn't know they didn't even know where you were going. They were all in. Nobody moved. Nobody got up. Nobody did anything. They were on. They were. They were listening to you. You had everybody in your hand. And you see, that's 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 there's a weird, way. There's I, a way. That's kind of a way you tell a joke, though. That's what I try to like. You got to understand, like I like. Patrice O'Neill, that's he's also in my top five. Uh, a lot of storytellers are in my top five. So uh, I just believe, like, when you if you know how to tell a story, which we learn from, like, fucking birth, like watching our mom and dad, our uncles, mm-hmm. our aunties around, whatever, telling the story. If you know how to do that, you already know how to captivate an audience. That's why I watch Battle Rap. I watch Battle Rap. I just love Battle Rap. I watch it for, like, these dudes got crowd control. These dudes know how to maneuver. I was like, this is fucking epic. Like, they are... Maneuvering in a way that most people can see, can't see, so I was like, "All right, cool. I need to watch everything that helps me in every level of stand up, minus talking, minus talking." Mm-hmm. So I was like, "If I can get that part, then I was like, all right, now how can I force myself for my words to even to step it up a level?' Because I used to be I used to be physical and all over the place and running on, that right, on, on, on physical." On uh yeah, he always wants. He always he wants you he to move. He always wants to move. Dude, he need, if he put some extra blocking in there, he changed everything. But the thing I've been mean, my mind, you got so much block, and he has it in his mind. And if you watch him like explain the joke before he gets on stage, yeah, he got blocking in it when he explains it, and then he do it on stage. You don't have no blocking. What? It's so crazy. What is it? Like he will explain the concept. It's, at the back I, I really, of the bar. It used to be in my head because like after I used to do a lot more movement before I got hurt. Mm-hmm. But now, I really want my jokes to be so solid that like I can tell them sitting down, standing up, whatever. I used to, I used to stand up. I used to sit down. I used to just transition before between them. Mm-hmm. Now it's like I'm really focused on how y'all feel just with me using my mouth, like that. especially if I'm huh? making content no. where yeah. you might not see me. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I don't want my funny to be based off of my acting because I know once I start moving around. Hey, you can give me that last one. I know once I start moving around, I'm going to definitely get you. Because, like, yes, I'm energetic. Yes, I I, I do all the stuff. But the funny, my funny still needs to be funny. Absolutely. But I think you have a lot of funny in your body. In, the, in your face. Pause. Like, whenever. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no pause. I won't, I won't want to say what I want to say. Yeah, I you funny. have a lot of. I got funny, a funny bone? You have funny in your face and in your, in how you move. Sometimes I feel like there's, there are shows where you get out of the, out of the, out of the spotlight and you're not as funny as you want to be because your face does a lot of it for you. Yeah. Mm, most definitely. I, I know and how you to... get out, you get out, you get out of the light because you want to like talk to the people and you want to get their reaction because you want to hear their reaction instead of them just feeling your reaction. But like with that though, like I do understand where you're coming from because you have that pride where you want to just be like, I want the joke to work. To work. Like I want yes. that to be the standard. I understand that. But him in particular, he is a special I feel like he's a good read of people, but he's not reading the people doing what he's supposed to be doing. Sometimes he need to be doing the work of the blocking, the physical stuff. Yeah. Because they're yeah. going to give him back what they want, the yeah, what they want. Because he's good at moving. That. And it could be that Omar is just like, I, I do the same thing. Like my, my, uh, 
when I gave my, my kidney away to my sister, that set me down. So I couldn't do mm-hmm. up and down physical comedy like when I came back. I literally had to sit. So yeah. it made me be like, all right, cool. I need these words to do the same energy yeah. as me running around. So that's what, like, so y'all seeing me sit on a stage, like, when I sit mm-hmm. down, that started, like, seven, eight years ago. I mean, Omar has jokes about dancing, but also Omar, like, non-professionally, is the best dancer I've ever seen in my life. I'd agree. He Bad. got jokes about I've never he has seen jokes dance, about. I'm be with he you. has never we seen have jokes he has jokes about dancing. You've never seen great. my dancing jokes, huh? I, no, I have He's not. You've never seen my dancing. joke about New York? No. Wait, is this a battle? The dance battle? Yes, I have he seen that joke. He dances battle worthy. But I've never seen you dance. He dances worthy of someone needing to So you to can respond. battle dance. Yes. This is yes. Fun. I'm blown away right That now. story is real. That's, that's some real that's what, that's what I'm telling you. When he don't block I love, I love in dance. a joke, it offends me because he can do all that. Why you can't block him the joke? That is kind of true. That's weird. If I had, the, if joke, I had the capability, no, no, but Omar. If you can do a joke 12 times, you can't put no blocking in there? Come on, but, give me something. But I'm going I'm to say something that you're gonna, you gonna, you've seen me in the last couple weeks. Yeah. I'm going to speak to the big guy, though, too. Though, so. When I host... And I'm not doing my jokes. I'm just reacting. Yeah. So much easier for me to do it. Oh, absolutely. And you've seen me move yeah, around that when entire. You host is loose, when man. I'm hosting, I'm loose. Oh, I'm, my God. And That's I'm true. quick. But when it comes time to my, my Santa, sometimes I got to think about it as far as like. Like, I don't have to think about the words because the words just come through. I, I let that flow. But I don't want, when I'm expressing it, I don't want myself to run over it. So, mm. like, I'm really focused on, like, making sure you understand the point. The point. And the point. That's a and 2020 20 thing, too, though, too. Because, yeah. like, I feel like you would be performing more expressively if not for this. Yeah. But not for what? COVID? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm glad like, COVID hit, Because you got to remember your jokes more than you got to do anything else right now. At this point, no. Because if you're doing I, a lot of your... If you're not, doing... Not because... Because I've been hosting for the last month. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I'm, but, I'm, I'm back at I'm back no, at pre pre COVID Omar. That happened I, no, good. but that happened in 2020. Is what I'm saying. Yes, you were doing. You're not doing. You're not doing a bunch of new jokes right now. Oh yes, I am. Not oh, a yeah. bunch of new jokes. Oh yes, oh, yes I am. No, I was. I saw you. You weren't doing a bunch of like. You saw me host. You didn't no, see no, me no. Do a I won't. I won't. I'll say. I don't want. I don't want to step on your toes. New Maybe concepts. I got there. I understand with that. New concepts. Yeah. You know the you doing the you're doing the old you know the you're doing the off the old system. Yeah. I get what he's saying. If you yeah. was by your if you had a whole year by yourself, you might be doing some different shit. You be doing some different ways, you know. You be doing you be experimenting in a different way you're not right now. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. But you don't I, have like, that. You gotta go back to like right now we gotta we gotta entertain. He got he got yeah like o- like home. people remember Omar is Omar like the last exactly. thing they remember is pre COVID Omar so they yeah. need pre COVID you do the new jokes but you plug them into an old system correct yeah that's 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 one hundred percent accurate and you've never done that before you there, there's not a year you do that you've done that before mm. mm-hmm. you were always evolving new. you you can't we don't have we can't really evolve like that this year well I don't know but like you got to understand there's if, not enough, if there's this not old crowd. system works there's not enough crowds that's what I'm saying the, that's true. The old system. I've had, works, I've so. had enough. You could be, you could be, you could be, you could be, be twenty twelve Howard Hall if you want to. Well, but that might not be what you want to do with that fulfill. Yeah, I haven't had, the, I haven't, I haven't had time. That dude hates that dude. That guy right there, Omar Finley, he hates old jokes. That dude's always trying to do a new thing. I'm not gonna lie, I hate old jokes. He's hate, always trying to do a new thing. I well, dude, I don't hate old jokes. I love old jokes, but I love them to the point I don't want to over. I don't want someone to be like I've heard him do Forrest Gump before. Yeah, there's no one in that room that's heard me do Forrest Gump. And that's dope. You're doing a but, sequel though. But I'm doing sequels. And then I can like You're not doing a so, new like you're not Tarantino right now. You're doing sequels. So right now, Friday, mm-hmm. Sean Pat show. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I know every single I know if he gives me eight minutes, I'm doing I'm doing uh uh Stranger Things and I'm doing that dance battle joke. Cause I want Sean to see that show too. Mm-hmm. I think that's my Yes. But I haven't had I haven't had time beside like my hosting time put together, yes, time. Right. But I haven't had a someone go, "Hey, here's ten minutes and go in, in three you months." Haven't get, you haven't had the opportunity to get weird. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't had the opportunity to get weird. I've I been have. doing. I've been doing five minutes, five minutes, five minutes since August. Before August, I had a couple of different live stream shows where I had like twenty minutes. And I that's got, the thing. I got paid money. Right but, now, he's really just making sure he's he he got his he got his 
He I got, got his, my acumen got his, back. Okay. Yo, he's just getting. He's just making sure he got his. He got his. His. He got his. He, he's still in boxing shape. No, no, he he's doing all I'm his conditioning. I'm doing he my doing conditioning. He's just making sure he got his little fade away. He got his little pump. He got his little pump. He got his little. He got his. He got his. He, he, not, game, he ain't game. He you he ain't game, game mode. Shape. He got his layup. Yeah, he's not yeah, making. Yeah. He's he not doing any new moves right now. But if he, this guy, big Kobe fan, he would be always making a new move. I got you on that. This time, if it was a regular year, he'd have a new move in his hand. He'd Top of like, the morning to the Los Angeles Lakers you for winning the NBA championship. They, right. <laughs> he said, y'all, they doing a step back three? I could do a step back three. Omar would be figuring out that step back three right now, but he can't do that right now because 2020 is crazy and you have a lot of time to get on stage. Hey, he so got to go with what he knows. But so I'm, hey, me, I'm booked you, on Crawfish you, City on November 7th. You know what I'm saying? So bang. I'm going to get weird. Word. Bang, bang, bang. Word. I'm going to get weird. Now. Word. Word. I'm it's a good room to get rid of. Like, also, nice. real, is it the same, is it a bleed over crowd from the from the mic? Yeah. Well, no, no, no it's totally set. like. So I, I did that guest set, and then I did the set yesterday. Totally Two different crowds. I was how, how so nervous. Cook? I repeated jokes. Did I cook? cook. What did you cook? Boy, he got Eat. Boy, <laughs> he got meal prep ready <laughs> for you. Like this, like I'm, and this is the crazy part. Like I'm doing no jokes that Switch came cameras, before bro. COVID. I mean, I already know you. You 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 ruined my life a couple times. Yeah, like all by hearing you do jokes as quickly as you do jokes. I can honestly say, like, if you was it's funny that he's doing a Sean Patton show because you and Sean Patton have consistently made me feel like I shouldn't be doing this anymore. Sean Patton is the the bro. You and him together have made me feel like I shouldn't be doing this. Fucked up often. That is the dog. Often, I love him. Often, I've seen you do. I've seen. I've been waiting for you to do a thing, and you decide you're gonna do a a whole new seven minutes. That's a great seven minutes. Excellent. I've ever heard in my life, and I'm like, I don't want to do this no more. You know what I do every time. Someone asked me who's uh, who's your favorite comic. He's not my favorite, but he's in my top, just because that human that bit that he does about Louisiana Bruh, that in Louisiana, the beginning. Mm-hmm. He talks about Tonys, <laughs> and he <laughs> does the accent. <laughs> and he it, it, he said he said Look down there in Nolan. Oh, I hate you. You poured on him a van, make it taste like crawfish at your face. <laughs> <laughs> And so, I like, and I show people that I'm like, this is the funniest. Bro. And he gets he he bounces in and out of the voice too. He knows so that. He, yeah. And it's like, I was like, he comes Sean Patton, he just jumps back in the voice, and he jumps back out. He's like, I watched that video, I watched your TED Talk video, and then I watched my classic. I wish they, I wish they had a video of him doing doing the weather. Oh, bro. I feel like I have it recorded somewhere. I'm, I'm, I have it recorded somewhere. I'm going to be That's really, my favorite bit I've ever heard in my life. Can I tell you how right now? Like, now I just, I think of a, like, something so simple, and I'll be like, all right, cool. How many ways can I attack this? That's literally how I do it now. Oh, I got so one like the like, out of all the bits like that, I know Wes has heard it. I know Omar has heard it at the open mic because that's all the bits I that's all the bits I did that night. Yeah, yeah. the ones I worked in the open mic. Oh, okay. Uh, bet, bet. And luckily, I was booked to do like three shows in Jackson. I was able to do those sets three different times. We're in Jackson. So like at Mike Town Comedy Club, big friend of mine. Yeah. Uh, I'm aware of Mike Town. Yes, indeed. Tough we'll, room. We'll, we'll done but oh, it's, oh, I it's, know. It's, it's yeah. good. Like if you know how, if you could do that room, you could do any room. I believe too. It's a tough room, but they 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 really fuck with you. So I was able to work out out there, and mm. uh, that's how I got the Burger King bit, a little bit up the water bit, bit a little bit up, and I started an open mic, and I was like, all right, cool. All right, now I need to like take it up a bit. So I was like, all right, I looked at like old premises. Mm. When you like, uh. Oh my bad. Well, no, no, no. Go, 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 go. Yeah, go, when go, you're like you're coming, you know, coming up and stuff. Like, how did it feel coming off a show? And then I guess you're kind of still doing it now, just mm-hmm. like back at the open mic. And then I, now you probably got more books. But like for me, mm-hmm. it's like open mic, open mic, open mic for months. And then I get the book show, yeah. and then I'm back to open mics for months. It's how does how does that? Uh, I you think know. it's the same though, Wes. Like I, if you like Terrence and Omar know, like. Out of all the people, I guess y'all would think is like my level or above. I I believe I go to open mics more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for I, sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. I still believe that I'm not saying that they don't believe that they're there. I don't believe I'm above that. I don't believe I'm above working out. Right. I don't believe I'm above like, oh, I know this is funny and I'm going to just go on stage with this. No, right. I still need to see. Like I'm still like a, a a comic at heart. I still need to break this. Like I'm gonna be you honest. To like, I like that y'all perform at open mics, and I like that y'all work out at open mics too. You like, you but like I the, like when y'all work out. To be honest, a lot of times I feel like sometimes the open mic needs us. Oh, absolutely, they do. I don't feel like they need me. No, they need you. 
I don't. I I go in open mic going. I need to get this. I need to work it out. But they also need. You to just happen to be. Too. You just happen to be wrong. That's all it is. I'm not happy to be wrong. No, no, you, but they. No, you I just happen they, to be wrong. Not they but, need to see. Not all happy you, to be, but, but you happen to be wrong. To your point, my favorite comics that I've seen live, mm -hmm. the only ones I like live are the ones I feel like go to open mics. No, oh, okay. the way you push is a thing that requires is required at open mic. Funny people have to push. Absolutely. Like you don't you don't lob you don't lob you don't lob an open mic alive. And we've been in we've been in cities and we've been in shows and we've been to open mics where they where the people that are supposed to be supposedly good lob the open mics out into the open and they don't they don't entertain nobody, they don't really help themselves. And we don't do that over here. Mm. And that no. open that overall enhances the open mic. Because the other people that aren't doing that don't have the privilege to do that because they don't have no book shows. That's the only time they get on stage. Have to feel like they got to push. Push. Yeah. They're trying to match that. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I, at one point, I did believe that I needed to continue coming to open mics, just for like faith. Like maybe like like all right, how somebody needs to see you working out. Hmm. Somebody needs to see that. Hey, as much as you're doing, he's still here, doing. Nicks. That was me for a while. That might be the that might be the uh, the motto of this show. To like to perform like you never been booked before. Basically, yeah. that's how I'm moving. That might be the that might be I'm the model. Be, like I'm gonna be real, the way I move and, and you know is like I don't even ask for, like let's say I want to do a room you've done, I don't even need the big ups. Just make the connection. Like you be like, hey yo, you about to get Howard, the fuck hall? Do you understand me? Like I'm telling you, you just but I don't need all that. Like hey bro, I'm a I'm a I'm a fuck it. Let me fuck it up for them. Let them put me. Yeah. The, like my boy Mike Towns in Mike Town, he didn't know me, but Carissa was like, "Yo, you you need to book Howard." Like multiple people was telling him, but he just didn't, and he was like, "All right, cool, let me bring you up, and I'm gonna let you put me where Wherever you think you need I to need go. to be." I'm fine with that, but after you see me, you gonna understand. You need to give me that big breath. Yeah, you already like, and, and get, that's what I would rather do. I would rather come in and be like, "Let me show you." Instead of somebody telling you, even when I went and did Austin shows, I was mm -hmm. like, "Don't tell him who I am. Just I got a friend. He wants to get me on it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like Howard Hall. I'm like, yeah, that's me. And then I'm gonna blow this bitch to smithereens, and then leave. And I'm literally and leave. leave. <laughs> that's the funnest part about going out of town. You just you just leave. You just leave. Who and the fuck was this kid that was on stage? I think his name is. Where is he? He left. I he don't live that. here no more. He don't live here no more. I taught him that. He said that's the best part. I think this is the best part. I told Wes last night, I was like, bro, you need to just go do a show out of state. You're going to be blown away when you do it. Mm -hmm. Blown away that they are terrible. They are terrible. And I can honestly say that. They are. Everybody. It's terrible people in every, like, town. And you probably have had more open mic time than they have ever had in their life. So, especially, like, if you go to L.A. and you find out that people are still working on five minutes and they've been doing it for four years. I was like, what? You still working on a five minute set for four years? And this is true. But oh, he just... told me one time after a mic, he said, Stop it. That one's done. On I think it was the water park joke. Mm -hmm. You're like, it's done. You it's good. It's like, good. You're done. You can you can stop now. Yeah, like you know it. I'm like, yeah. He goes, yeah. then why are you doing it? I know, I know <laughs> we got I, I know yeah. we gotta push on, but I'm gonna say one thing that I, I, I don't know if I've ever told you. Last time I went to LA and watched stand up comedy, I went to Hollywood Improv. Yeah. You know who I saw? Who? I saw uh, Theo Vaughn. Word. I said, hey, Greg and Howard told me to watch you. He stopped what he was doing, turned around. He saw me online. He said, You from Baton Rouge? I said, Yes, sir. Humbra. He killed it. Oh, yeah. Theo's good. Then I got drunk with Chris Red. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I'm sorry for my good. girl who's watching this. We were hitting on the same girl at the same time. Well, hey, look, yeah. sometimes it happens. But they were the only two on that whole show. There was a whole bunch of other Saturday Night Live, Live writers, mm -hmm. other writers for different shows. They were the only ones who you could tell still worked out stuff and still pushed, like Terrence they used said. To work yeah. They used to work it. Chris Red, his joke, I can tell you to this day, it was about elbow room on an airplane. Humbra. That's simple. And I was like, this nigga wrote that ten minutes ago. But I knew he was but it was he was hitting the crowd so hard and I just tell I was like he gets he gets three touches a night uh, yeah. a week at least. Absolutely. And it's like those are the comics that like I respect most. Or even last time we went to New York last October, 
my man, uh, I can't remember his name. It's like Brian something. But you remember the Mind Jack videos? Yes. The oh, mind, shit. That, comp, that guy who's doing that, he's making semen come out of everywhere. Yeah. He performed, <laughs> and I was sitting there like, I was dying. But you could tell he was hitting mics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His was, cadence was different. Like, you could tell when they working that muscle. Yeah. I, and I've I've seen those industry shows where the people still think they're funny because they didn't totally wrote out the set. And yes, yes. Like, yeah, you haven't hit a mic in a yes, while. Yes, indeed. You know? yeah. So, no, nah, yeah, I understand doing the work. But each is on. Switching yeah. gears, what's up? Switching gears, what's up? Uh, this has been a good show. This has been a great show. I, I had fun. I would do this again. This is pretty dope. We can, we can do it again when, when it's live. I think we're going to have a different live thing one day. No, we would do it again. The original conception was always like, at a show, that would be dope. Mm-hmm. Like after a show, like like after right a show, show, right, right before, before show, yeah. You know? yeah. But such is life. I don't like the way Jeremiah's looking at me. Be quiet on this. Um, before we end this, like you want to fight me? Um, you have anything you need to plug before before people? I do have some stuff to plug. Okay. Oh, indeed. Which is crazy. Uh, well, two things I've been working on. Well, one, which is this show with uh my wife called the Patio Pull Up. Okay. We was doing it during COVID. Mm-hmm. I told her, let's stop. Mm-hmm. Let's fully mm-hmm. do this. Mm-hmm. So we got some backing. Some people want to get behind us. So we're going to fully do that. That should be popping Y'all up. Y'all just look good. Do we? I know Y'all we do. Just like look sometimes, good. yeah. I, I ain't going to lie. Look at ourselves and be like, look. Y'all look good. We the shit. Like, shout out to Wifey, who literally came up. I know this is going to be shocking. Last three open mics. But she came up. Uh, with Y'all the Bur- look like. Y'all she look came like, up with the Burger King bit. Y'all look like if Kurt Franklin was Burger King bits her? Burger King bit is her. Y'all look like if, gro- if Kirk Franklin was a grown man, like how how y'all how a couple would look. Absolutely, without the porn addiction. Mm, I mean, I, I'm I mean, probably gonna, with I'm it. Gonna, I mean, gonna, I, yeah, you, I mean, you don't know my life. Yeah, but I don't, don't want to get into your, I don't want to your business. But I don't think it's an addiction. I just think in I like event, it. If you was if, he, if if Kirk was a grown man, I feel like that's not what a you fully are. grown man. Yeah, fully not like what man. he is now. <laughs> Howard's like double dildos all day. Yeah, all day. <laughs> I don't even know S and M. What? 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 I shop there. Y'all just y'all look good. <laughs> that should be a store. Well, it should be a store. It should be next to H and M. Yeah, H and M and S and H and M and S. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> uh, no, I'm work. We working on that, and um, I'm working on these uh, these uh comedy special. Uh, mm-hmm. it's actually um, I don't even know how many parts I'm gonna make it, but it's a it's a. I think there's a new way you need to look at comedy specials now. I don't think they need to be an hour. I don't think they need to be a half an hour. I don't think they need to be 50. I think they just need to be whenever you're done with the thought that you want to get out. I think that's what the special should be. That's an idea. Uh, so I'm coming out with a um, this new way of presenting uh, stand-up material. Mm. I'm going to come out with a whole bunch of specials, but they're all going to be under the moniker of Hall Pass. Okay. So that's the name of my special is the Hall Pass. So you I get a Hall Pass on, part one, a Hall Pass. So yeah, we gonna like and like yeah, really, I'm gonna be good. honest with you. What sparked it, and I'm so glad he dropped it. Dion Cole dropped like him working out. <sighs> like I love, I'm so glad he dropped Gosh, that, bro. He's dead. He's so different. glad he dropped that, bro. <sighs> excellent writer, the excellent Chicago working out. Different. So that's they what that's what's gonna be. The Chicago guys, please, please put me on. I'm I'm a I'm not even ashamed. Please put me on. I got a, I got a bit. I just came up with also in my shower. Like, yeah, it's called Afraid of Being Gay. Yeah, I I my, my soap dropped, but I caught it. <laughs> hey, look, and this, that's exactly what the hall pass is for. It's gonna be a curated. I was show. so happy, <laughs> literally. And I'm a like I'm a handpicked comics who just want to work out some dangerous. Yo, shit. we need to get this off the wax. Uh, let's get off the wax. That's we should, yes. Okay, yes, cool. Yes, indeed. All yes, right, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. Yes, All indeed. Right. Let's wrap it up, for man. Uh, you don't wrap it up, guys. This has been Open the Mic season two premiere, world, world, world premiere. We have Howard Hall, whoa, 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 dropping in. Wes Ross, Omar Finley. Thank you guys so very much for. Being Wait, a... do your socials. Uh, yeah. Uh, follow us on social media. No Show Comedy at No Show Comedy on most social media platforms. And, uh. If you want to follow our personal ones, I'm, yes, I'm Omar Finley. Uh, the O is a zero. Uh, Howard Hall is Howard Two Hall. Hall. 24. Howard oh. Hall 24. Or Howard Hall Comedy. Which one? It's your choice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. West Ross Graham. West Ross Graham. Mm. He be uh, selling. White Hose West. White Hose West. <laughs> I think you should change all your social media handles <laughs> to that. That is your name. Most of my stuff is T-Delane Dose, D-O-S. Uh, that's Spanish. <laughs> 
Uh, I have a father who cared about. I have a father who cared about me and raised me, so I I, I choose to use my junior. Some people don't have that privilege, so I I, I try to honor him. Uh, that man actually raised me. He didn't, he didn't abandon me like many people's parents, Thank fathers did. Um, <laughs> Thank you for the backstory. But yeah, uh, I appreciate him. So Tito Lane does is my my thing. Also, if you want to Venmo me, also still Tito Lane does. Nigga, what? All right. Nigga, hey, it's, it's social media. Crumpling. It's cash app. Yeah, man. Dollar sign. Hey, can we pause? <laughs> if pause. To why does money? Black, dollar why sign does, West why, Boss? Why do black people want cash app and white people use Venmo? I don't even know. That's deep. I got Venmo Yo, too. I got both. I use Venmo because 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 comics. Send you money from, Venmo uh, But most of my black friends They <laughs> use cash Cash Yo cash app Cash app to me Looks a little uh, Suspect Like pick me Got a lot of pick, Got a lot of pick me to it It's like Ooh send me money please Not like Not like Oh you owe me Send me that thing You know <laughs> Oh it's not for bills all right, for helping people out. and yeah, uh, yeah, shout out, like, like, give me some shout love. out to Jeremiah uh, in the back. There's no camera That's on our him. Producer, so right there. producer, producer of the yeah, show, yeah, man, sole producer. Also, I'm putting Jeremiah in the lion tamer as soon as we get off the, as soon as we get off. I'm, I'm done. Be the cross-faced chicken. Cut it.